Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome to this edition of, I don't know what this is, Building Something Out of Legos. Uh, we're going to build a Lego Speed Champions set, and I'm super excited about this one. Uh, the Lego Speed Champions Ford F-150 Raptor and Ford Model A Hot Rod has been on my list for a long, long time. It uh, has been retired for a long, long time. So it's hard to find when it originally came out. I think it was 50 bucks. Now you're going to see this for probably 150 and up online for sure. Uh, it was retired in 1995. Can you believe it? Well, no, no, it came out in 1995. So I think it's retired, I think about a year after that. So it's been out since 1995. Uh, really crazy. There's only six, six, 664 pieces in in the kit so it's not a like a huge kit but it's just super cool so uh the description here uh open up the garage to work on your car change the engines and then it's time to race for glory pass the checkered flag first and lift the trophy on the podium includes four mini figs a hot rod racing driver racing driver mechanic and a race official uh you basically get a ford f-150 raptor truck and trailer ford model a hot rod and a garage and victory podium with starting lights tower so the ford f-150 raptor features a driver's cabin with removable windshield big wheels suspension authentic ford logo and headlight stickers and a de detachable trailer the ford model a can fit a minifigure inside and features a removable windshield too interchangeable engines and that's kind of cool for a hot rod plus authentic ford logo and headlight stickers uh, and includes interchangeable wheel trims and so you've got the the ability to do some customization which is not a kind of a normal thing i think that would be really cool to see more and more of those like to build to take a stock car and turn it into a hot rod would which would be really cool kind of teach you some of the the part changes that you could do to make that happen that would be something i'd like to see lego uh, come up with so uh, and really it's not the uh, the garage or the podium or any of that stuff that that I'm excited about I just wanted to add these vehicles to my collection I started collecting late um, and when you do that uh, you realize wow you've got a lot to get caught up on so um, I don't remember the total number of speed champions cars but there are a lot so let's take a look at the at the box here let's turn off that turn on this so here's the box and this is uh we just opened a few minutes ago and you can see that it's got all the pieces parts all the pictures on the front of what you're going to get and then the back uh, gives you different views um, with a crane that you can actually change the engine and lift out with a crane just very very cool so open this thing up just a few minutes ago came with five different bags of parts and so I've got them um, separated by numbers one through five we're going to cut open the instruction booklet and get to work the goal the goal today is to build the um, build the hot rod I, I want to skip right to the hot rod so we'll see uh, here's the sticker kit so there's your sticker kit for everything you'll need later on uh, and let's let's find out exactly which there's three booklets one two three in order but it doesn't tell you on the front which one builds what so you have to look in here first and okay so that's good what you want to see here is it says bag one builds that which is the, the driver and the hot rod with the engine stand. And so I think I am on the right track. Let's take a look though, while we're here at bag number two, builds the, uh, at least the, the majority of the Raptor. The, I wonder what bag number three is, uh, the trailer. All right, so that's cool. So today's uh, build will be the hot rod. So let's go ahead and open up bag number one we can slide these parts all over my uh, small computer desk um, but that's where I do all my work so that's where we're gonna be starting all right so uh, some of the parts are really small and sometimes I like to have like a little uh, white bucket or something so the parts uh, don't get lost and stand out but I 
don't see one of those handy, so we're going to go ahead and just hope that I don't lose parts. But what we can do is make a nice, neat little pile here. Be really careful. Every little piece matters. Every little piece. And of course, the smaller the piece, the easier they are to lose. And a lot of times they will bounce uh, off, off a table and hide somewhere in a corner. So, all right, we're going to take a look at instructions here. Looks like we're building the, uh, the engine stand first. I don't know if I really care about the engine stand that much, honestly. I might just skip forward. <laughs> um, let's take a look and make sure. Yeah, yeah, I think I can skip that. Engine stand's cool, but uh, I can always build that later. And as this will be displayed in a Lego City, probably not. I think the Lego engine stand would be good. I can put it in front of the Lego garage building. That's cool, so maybe later come back to that build. But for now, let's just go ahead and jump in and build the hot rod. That's the coolest part. So. Uh, so pretty much I just build right on top of the instruction manual. You can find the instructions uh, online as well. And so if you prefer to look at instructions on a computer or phone, um, that is an option. So one thing that I am already finding it difficult is that the black pieces against the black desk are a little hard to find and so maybe I should have dumped that dumped them on a piece of white paper or in a bucket like I had mentioned before so all right so as you uh, as you build uh, a lot of times I don't count I don't even bother counting all the bumps but that's typically what you do this piece would be called a a one a one wide by one two three four five six seven eight so this is a one by eight uh, but it's really easy just to see, hey, it hangs off three bumps. It's three bumps longer than that square piece, and that's and it's pretty much the only piece like that. And so that's how that works. And then now I'm taking two gray pieces. I think that's gray. Sometimes gray and black are awfully close together. And it looks like they are bump pieces. And um, I want to make 100% sure here that that is correct so as you look through all your pieces just want to make sure that yes that's what you got uh, those are totally different so you have to be really careful different pieces but this one doesn't face up the same way as that one so it would look like it would be the darker gray like that and then there's two little black one by twos and they go uh, oh, sorry, one little black one by two, and that basically connects those two pieces together. And then that piece goes here, which might end up being the front of the car. I don't quite know yet. So, so far, so good. All right, and now we're looking for one long black piece. There's only one of those, and that goes right down the middle of that. And we are already on to step number five, and step number five has a white flat piece in the front and that gives extra strength also these pieces now are really rigid and a uh, two by four two by eight I guess right two by eight and that goes right up front as well right there so uh, now we're looking for two two little orange um, I don't think they're red they could be sometimes red and orange very very close in Lego instructions it would look like orange to me but I don't see any orange therefore they must be red but that clearly in the instruction booklet looks like orange uh, which could be a you know a big difference in a car so but we'll go with red now since it's red we might think this is the back of the car and not the headlights maybe the tail lights and looks like there should be a license plate sticker so we refer to this it says sticker number one license plate y9172 why that number i don't know maybe that's a part uh kit number i don't know so if i can get these off those are kind of a bugger to get off for sure all right well just need to get one of those off that goes in the back license plate and I'm gonna put that right there I want to make sure you do it straight 
nothing looks worse than a crooked sticker. So we're gonna go straight across and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be straight. So that looks pretty good. So we have our license plate on. Now we're looking for a uh, two by four. That is a two by four, yellow. And that's gonna go right here with uh, two one by threes. Those one by threes go right next to the yellow. And uh, there we go, we're starting to build it up. As long as you follow those instructions, you look at the piece first, what you need and how many you need. So it tells me you need two of those. And then you just look at your instructions and see where they go and make sure they go in the, the correct place. Pretty simple, but lots of fun. All right, so now we're back to two of these. And again, uh, I think these are the darker ones, not the lighter ones. So look at the color and the shape. Looks like they go, two of those go in the back and they simply snap underneath that part there. Okay, so something can attach from the sides, probably. Now, a lot of times if there's like a sub-assembly, it's called, you assemble this first before you put it on, it's in a little call-out, uh, pop-out uh, window. And so we're gonna grab uh, two of those white pieces and two blue squares. It's just a one by one. And it looks like they go on, according to that picture, just go on the front, both of them. So, so far not a difficult build at all. We're just making sure we are, uh, keep things lined up. You wanna make, you know, make sure your, uh, your part, your kit, is lined up the same as the drawing always. That's, that's important. So, and it looks like these go just right there. So the blue part sticks out the side, white part sticks up the top. Now we're on step 11. We need two, um, they're not normal looking um, two by fours. They have these little bumps on the top and we need two of those. And they are going to face this direction and go here. That could be maybe for a door because that little bump sticking up here can work as a like a hinge for a door to open and close. I'm just guessing on that, but I've seen that done before. Now we're looking for a steering wheel. And that's usually, a, they almost always look exactly the same. And this one right here will go facing. Now we know which, which is the front of the car for sure. It goes right here, I believe. Oh, it has to face the other way, of course to the driver. So we're popping it in right there. Then we have a gray one by two and just looking for any gray one by twos. Anyway, there we go. Uh, there's a gray one by two right there. That's going to basically be the dashboard. It looks like so dashboard there and now lots of pieces here. So uh, we've got uh, basically a uh, what would that be called? Two by a one by two with holes. And so and then you've got two black, um, again, hard to see on my desk, but two black small kind of axle pieces. There they are, right there. My, one of my wheels is rolling away. And it looks like both of them snap in uh, to one side of that. Now I need one of these. And then two of these flat, I don't even know what to call those. Those are really different, but um, there's two of those and they basically snap in the middle like so. And then uh, let's make sure it's the right piece. These are, I need two of these, quite interesting um, shape. There we go. So, and I don't know what that's called either. So a lot of times I give the pieces like a funny, funny name, but I don't even know what to call these. So, but they have to make sure those face that direction. So it allows something to stick out of those holes. And then you always wanna make sure that your, have two more pieces, two yellow, make sure that your picture lines up. Your, your actual piece looks like the real thing. All right, now those aren't yellow, they are tan. So again, the colors are off. Um, the booklet sometimes isn't quite the same color, but there isn't, there aren't yellow pieces like that. So looks like 
these pop in like that and like that so the groove the groove part sticks out that's kind of hard to see i apologize for that so that's the build for that piece and it looks like it goes in the front this is maybe part of the um engine compartment and uh these must be for the wheels okay so that was step 13 we are on to step wait for it 17 steps step 14 and we need two yellow squares and a, a two by four gray piece and that goes over the engine and then the yellow pieces go on top of these little posts okay so remember this is going to be a hot rod right so it's going to be a model a which uh basically you know 1928 29 something like that and then later on in the 50s they turned them into there were so many of them laying around after the war people came back and could buy them for cheap but the young soldiers came back wanting to do something uh cool and so they tore them apart rebuilt them and turned them into hot rods which started the whole hot rods hot rod craze all right so this is now the dashboard and then we need a white uh, gray flat with a with a uh, hole in the top and two black um, I call them crab claws they have little claws on the top and you have to be careful with these some of them face um, different directions like here's one that faces up the claws face up and this faces sideways so you have to make sure you're getting the right kind and in this case it looks like I need uh, the sideways one and so looking at all my pieces there it is right there so these go in front of the engine not really sure what it's for yet but it's part of the fun is discovering what is what later on so all right we need a blue two by four blue two by four goes on top of that engine part and a gray two by four okay so we're basically making the engine uh, thicker taller and that's step 16 now we're on step 17 and we just need a one by four black and that goes across oh first we need these um, curved curved where are they there it is that that curved piece that two of those all right so let's grab very hard to see I won't do black on black again <laughs> but there it is okay so these go first and they go on the back of the car right there right there and the one by four crosses them like so okay uh, step 18 we've got a thicker I don't know what you call that when it's thicker but it's it's still a one by four um, but it's thicker Oh, that one's clear and that one's black so I think it looks like the black one and it goes it doesn't show you an arrow it never shows you where you have to figure that out yourself but it looks like that goes in front of that we're building maybe a seat uh, seat compartment there we go yeah 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 and then um, these little square cubbies have little seats and they go like that so they're facing in uh, again apologize if it's hard to see looking for one more of those there it is way over there you can see how easy it is to lose pieces and I'm trying my best just to kind of keep them all in one place okay so we've got those look correct and compare it to the picture and then we need these rounded four of these curved rounded pieces four of those and I see three and four okay there's my four and they basically just all go on the back so that's what's going to give it that uh, this is the trunk so that's the trunk of the of the model a 
And what gives the Model A its look, really, is this curved trunk lid. That's very much the classic uh, back end of the Ford. Flip over to, uh, oh, we're going to get some flames pretty soon, too. So step 20, we're going to make the door. Uh, we need one gray, one by two, one black flat L. I'm not sure if that's really an L or a corner, uh, but I call it an L. And two doors. Uh, I need two of those black L's. And then, oh, the doors already have stickers on them. Look at that. That's not the usual. Usually you have to put your own stickers on. So I'm looking for one more L. Where is it? It's in the dark. It's in the dark. I don't see it. Holler if you see it. L, L, no, that's a problem. Okay. So, sometimes, two of those, right? Just double checking. Sometimes when you don't see a part, you have to, there it is right there, go through every piece, kind of like putting a puzzle together. Have to look for every piece one at a time. All right, so we are gonna start making this look like a car. So the gray part goes, oh, I see, I see this, the L pieces are wrapping. This is kind of like the convertible top, where the convertible top would fold down into this area if there was one, right? And then these doors with the flames going in the right direction. Let's make sure that that's correct. I think they just go like that. So they literally just open and close on the little stud. But you can see that you're getting the hot rod look with the flames. Step 21, one, uh, one by four flat, and it goes across the doors. So that's what holds the doors in place. So you can see that one piece makes it so those doors don't fall off. And then two yellow, those are easy to find on this desk. And they just simply go up over the top of the, this would be the, um, they would call it the firewall on a car. So it's the metal between the engine and the driver uh, to keep the heat and the fire from the, from the inside. Um, all right, and that's it for that step. Tw step 22, we're looking for two kind of triangle pieces, two of those, and they're pretty easy to find as well. And two of those light tan, light gray, uh, bracket things. All right, so it looks like we have to put a couple of them together first. So, and get the direction correct that you're putting those on like that. And then, so there's two of those exactly like that and like that. And stickers, sticker number 14. So there should be two 14s. So you look at the numbers which are in blue and looking for 14 right there. So these are Ford. Um, again, pretty tough. Of course, this if this kit came out in 1995, these stickers are old. Not that that should matter, but all right. So Ford, make sure they're straight. So these must be the uh, the headers or the or the valve covers on the engine. Struggling just a little bit to get that off. You don't want to ruin your stickers. But probably over the years, they've gotten a little bit old. Come on. We really don't want to mess them up. That would look bad. So we want to make sure we get it off, get it off the best we can. Wow. That is stuck on there. Come on. There we go maybe. Sometimes the paper on older stickers, the paper comes with it. Okay, there we go. I think we did okay. And then this one also, make sure the Ford is the word Ford, which you can't see. I don't think, no, 
it won't focus on that, but the word forward is on there. You want to make sure that it is facing the right direction and it's fairly centered. Oh, that's not very centered. I'm going to bring it back and do it again. It's okay with stickers if you have to move it once or twice, but after that, they start losing their adhesive. All right, so these are going to go just like I thought they would, right on the top and hang off to the side. Oh, does that even fit? Oh, maybe I did it wrong. I think I did. So what I did is I put the valve covers on the wrong side. That's a simple fix. Uh, at least that one, well, that one I did correctly. So the second one I did wrong. So we've got the side of the engine like so. Okay. Over to step 23. We need a yellow. What am I missing? A yellow piece. So it's a yellow piece with a bump in the top, and that goes right in the middle. And two gray. Um, they have little rails. It's a one by two with a rail on the side, which allows you to do a lot of things with that funny little, funny little rail shape. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I call them, one by two rail. Just make my own, make my own names up. So these are a darker gray, and they go right there on the very top. And step 24, we're looking for a black one by two. So again, hard to find, but there it is. And then we need two of those, and they go on top of each other, like so. And then two little angled pieces face each other in the middle. So right there. All right, so we've got this little house house looking thing and it's going to go right front. So I don't know if that's the radiator. Could very well be the radiator. I would think it probably is on that. Oh, and while we're here, we need to do some headlights. So um, it looks like uh, these little pieces have been used for all kinds of things, that shape, but it makes a perfect old timey. Uh, oh, and they go in those little, those little claw, the crab claws that were sticking out sideways. It snaps right into those. That's what those were for. So pop the headlight, the headlight lens on, and then snap that into the crab. Then you've got your really cool headlights. All right, we're getting there. All right, that's cool. So step 24, we're almost done. Step 25, this is the, oh, this is the, uh, the, the, the true radiator, I guess, the true radiator. It is gray. So we're going to grab this and put the black grill. By the way, this is also used as a window in most house kits. And so you can see how this could be a window with maybe a different insert that would have windows, window panes. Uh, but this could be a window in pretty much any house. But in this case, it's going to look like a radiator. And so we need um, a dark gray L bracket right here. It goes on the bottom like that and then a white flat goes on the front of that. Oh, and that's where the license plate goes. So we're gonna grab our sticker packet and grab that other Y9172 sticker. And that's gonna be our front license plate. So we wanna make sure that this is centered and even as close as possible. And oh, and a radiator cap. Gotta have a radiator cap on the front, on the top. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that one that one flew somewhere, so I'm gonna have to find that. That's not good. <laughs> I heard it hit the wall. It was a little bit tight to get on, so um, I think that's the correct one. It has like a, it's silver with a little bit of, um, well, it's gray with a silver, with a silver cap, which would make total sense. Luckily, there's more of those, and hopefully, in every Lego kit, they give you spare parts. So I'm hoping that that is one of them. <laughs> looks like there's those are probably hubcaps for the wheels is what I'm guessing but I do have one on the floor somewhere all right so this goes right here 
That's going to really start to make that front end look cool. Yeah, is that great? Could end up being my favorite Lego car. All right, this is the air scoop, and uh, it allows more air into the carburetor and makes the car go faster. It goes right on top of that. And then there's another cap. I don't know what for, actually, right there. Maybe that's a gas cap. You think that would be on the side, but I'm not really sure why that's there. All right, step 27. We are grabbing these um, funny looking connections, connection piece, I guess, and a blue. Let's get these all in the right order. So I'm looking at this, uh, these directions right here, where I've got to push that in here and then that goes into a kind of a uh, cylinder like that and then these go on what I thought was going to be doors which I was wrong uh, let's see that does not that's not right let's double check okay yeah so there's two different uh, two different pieces best tool right there in my teeth for sure um, and I, there's two different pieces and I got the wrong one so we're gonna go back out of that and do the right one like that and like that and now that should snap onto those little bracket things which I thought was gonna be for the doors but is not so now I know I need to make another one just like that so it's um, one of those one of those and this okay and in that order so same as before like that like that that snaps onto that bracket all right cool so we almost have these like little wings on the car which, uh, okay, we'll find out what that's all about. And now we're uh, step 28, which is wheels and tires. So we're going to grab, oh, we have some choices, I think, don't we? I thought we were going to have choices. But you have to have the red, you have to have the red and the white wall tires. That's the classic look. So we're going to go um, uh, pop those in. We need, uh, it says I just need two of those. Oh, that's because there's two skinny two back tires that's great okay which also is adds to the classic look right of uh, the huge back tires um so looks like pop that in there and that gives you your red uh middle cap and the white tire so we'll do two just like that make sure i have the correct wheels because the wheels are going to be bigger in the back like that all right, so simply just pop those in. And then on the one side, put the red cap on. And, okay, cool. Oh, I see what these are. Those are exhaust pipes. Okay, since, since they were on a bracket, like I thought it was gonna be the door, they simply blow back. So there's huge exhaust pipes right on that hot rod. And then we just pop the wheels on like so. And the cool thing about Lego wheels, they actually spin. So there's your front wheels. And it should start looking more and more like a, like a car at this point, right? Very cool. All right, so we should be getting to the back wheels. Oh, no, first there's a, a top. It's not a convertible. What if I want it as a convertible? I think I'd want it as a convertible. So I'll probably skip that step. Yeah, you gotta, I think, gotta skip that step. I could build the top and then just have it off, I guess, but, uh, but there has to be a windshield. So let me see if I can at least find that. So I think the windshield is just this, like that. What do you think? Convertible, right? Yeah, gotta be. All right, flip it over. That's the, uh, you can see that, the symbol for flipping it over, two arrows. And uh, we're gonna put a clear, 
this kind of helps things um, right here. Helps things. So that's weird. That's low. Why is that so low? The tires. I don't know if that's 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 weird. Um, oh, because it's going to be jacked up. I was going to say right now that it, that drags the ground. This little plastic piece actually makes it so the wheels don't touch the ground at all. But it is going to be jacked up. So let's just follow the directions and don't second guess what they're wanting me to do. And we're going to throw these two red pieces here. Okay, so that makes, this is the rear end housing for the, uh, for the rear wheels, uh, like, fits right in there. That's exactly like it should fit. That's it. And it looks like the rear wheels actually have a true axle. So we're going to put um, we're going to put the wheels in the tires. And the axle. That's interesting. Looks like it should go. Okay, well, let's slow down, follow the directions here like this and then does it go up through must go up through that's what keeps it on like that okay and gives it the red look on the back so it keeps it on and puts it together and so now I just put it through the axle housing and put the other wheel on Okay, like this. And then the other red little piece goes to hold that on and give it the look. And you want to make sure it's not tight. So you want to make sure you loosen that so that these spin freely. Okay, uh, looking pretty good, looking like a hot rod. Um, okay, what else? is there um what is that oh that's the alternate engine which um, just so you have one on the uh engine lift i suppose but i think this is probably the coolest one and uh i just need to put the guy in there the driver and other than that that is the build and very very cool looking car uh look forward to doing the Ford Raptor truck with the trailer so I can pull it around. Very cool. And I might display it that way with a car on the back of the trailer. So uh, if you get a chance to pick this one up, do so. It's a great kit. Uh, hope you enjoyed that build. Mr. John's out.